If a person walked in to vote in the 2012 New Hampshire presidential primary and said the names of multiple dead people... Hello. Do you have a Reynolds Karen on your list, please? Karen? Do you have a Roger Grew? Do you have Paul Susie? you have a uh, Thomas McCarran? Hello there. Do you have a uh, Joseph Boucher? Could he receive a ballot to vote without showing any ID? And you've got right. a Democratic ballot. There you go, Mr. No. Democratic ballot. I, I, um, I don't have my ID on me, uh, I don't need, no. oh, I left my ID in the car, you don't need it. Uh, do you know if there are any other dead people on the list, we're just checking to make sure there aren't, it says that you, how would I know if they were dead or not, okay, you, how would I know if they were dead or not, okay, <laughs> I saw some zombies voting today at the ballot. At the ballot. Do you have, do you have it on video? I think you're confusing. Right. Democratic ballot. There you go, Mr. Now, I'll tell you what, I've left my ID in the car, my, reg my identification. It's not required. I don't need it. I'll go and get it anyway, if you don't mind. I prefer to. I don't need register. I don't need identification. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, boy. You have to here. You just have to. Yeah. As long as you're on our, on our registered poll list, you're allowed to vote. I can just vote. That's okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll get my ID anyway. Uh, but thank you very much. See you okay. shortly. Bye-bye. Here we are. George John F. at St. James Place. That's the address. Okay. And you're a registered Democrat. That's, that's the registration. Okay. So here's the Democratic ballot. And the right. pens are in the booth. But I haven't got my idea with me, my identification. You don't, you don't have to. In really? the state of New Hampshire, they don't require it. Oh, right. There's no way of checking who's voting. Uh, if somebody else came in and said they were George Darcy, we wouldn't let them vote because we've now checked off George Darcy. Okay. And that's the only check there is All right. in the system. I got some idea anyway. Oh, I got some idea. I will do. No, you have to go. Thank you. Can go. It's okay, thanks. You're welcome. You have a uh, Thomas McCarran? Okay, Thomas. Take one of these chips, go to the wrong table behind me, and we'll give you a ballot. The ballots are, are back here? It's the wrong table. Oh, I forgot my ID, actually. You don't know my ID. Uh, well, uh, well, he's already checked you off, so... I'm, I'm not going to vote without giving my ID. It's just... Oh, just my okay. Switch back. Hi. Hello, Jeff Paul Susie. First name Paul? That's correct. 319 East Dunstable. That's the correct address. What are you doing, lady? <laughs> now, I've left my ID in the car. That's all right. I need my ID, though, my identification. No, you don't need your identification. You don't need it. Not in New Hampshire. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'd rather, I'll get it anyway. I don't want to vote without showing my ID. All right. Really. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Do you have a Reynolds Karen on your list, please? Karen? Ren oh. Reynolds Karen, C A R O N. Seven calls, see me out? That's the address. Then that is not you. Hi there. Last name. Next Oh, I left my ID in the car. You don't need it. I don't need ID. We look for your guide. This is New Hampshire. No ID needed. No ID needed. No. Don't come back then. <laughs> I'll remember you. All right. You're a registered no. Democrat. Yeah. I'm not registered Democrat, actually. Oh, that's right, yeah. I'm, I, yes, I'm actually sorry, well. yeah. You can't change. Okay, thank you for that. I'm going to get my ID anyway. I'd rather get my ID and show you. Do you have a Roger Gru? G R O U X? It's 191 Roger. Morgan. What is the address? 191 Morgan. That's it. We have we have you here. You're a Republican. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. In, in the back. Um, the I don't have my ID on me. Is that? No, now you're fine. I'm going to be it. fine. You don't need it because you're already 191 Morgan Street. Yeah. Okay. That's your address, and it's your name is Roger Bruce, and so you don't need ID in this state. Okay. Um, yeah, I just, I'm going to go get my ID. I just feel more comfortable. It's up to you. Okay. okay. All right. Thanks. Do you have an Ernest Chavanel? <laughs> C-H. What's going on? 
seven Elmore. Any s'mores? Uh, yep, yeah, that's it. Democrat. Thank you. Um, I don't have my ID on me. Uh, I don't need. I can just. I can just vote. Okay. All right. I just. I just feel more comfortable if I show my ID. Is that right? Okay. I'll go get my ID. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Do you have a Ferdinand Mitchell? What is the last name? Mitchell. Ferdinand Mitchell. Ferdinand's is 1425 Bodwell Road. Is this you, Ferdinand? Anthony Mitchell? Uh, it's actually, that's not me. He's deceased. I'm just, I'm just checking to make sure he's off the list. Um, he hasn't been purged off the list. He hasn't been? No. Okay. Uh, do you know if there are any other dead people on the list? We're just checking to make sure there aren't. It says that you How would I know if they were dead or not? <laughs> okay. Raymond? Yes. Okay. Raymond Jerome on Ward Street? Raymond Jerome? It's Jeremy, yeah. That's the, that's the name. Jeremy? That's yes. On 92 Ward Street. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 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 I don't have my ID. Oh, no, we don't require ID. You don't need ID? We don't require ID. I, I require it. Not, I'll be back. I'll be back with my well, ID. The state says we're not allowed to ask for identification. Okay. I'll be back. I'll be back with it. I'm already okay. All right. So there's, I'll be back. Thanks. Hello there. You have uh, Joseph Boucher. B O U C H E R. That's right. Hi. Um, did you vote in Asher before? No. No. What you would do is. You Go to the, over to the register over there, and they can register you today. I don't have any identification. Uh, no you don't have to have identification. <laughs> you don't have to have a license or anything. No. Well, they, they'll they would like to have it because they can follow it, but it's not mandatory. Well, I'll, I'll get it from the car. Do you have a Thornton Cody? Thank you. <laughs> um, I don't have my ID on me, so yeah, yeah. that's fine. I don't need it. No. Okay, don't need it. Okay. Um, Maybe someday you will, but right. right now you don't. Okay, yeah, okay. I just feel more comfortable showing my ID. So in theory, somebody could have put them in um, give a name and address or, or confirm name and address and vote. So how, how, how does that work? How do you feel about that? We I've been at this marshal 43 years for me, yeah. and to the best of my knowledge, I've never had it happen. But in theory, I guess that's... In, in theory, it could happen. So, so somebody who died, for example, somebody could come in and cast a vote. Uh, well, not, not really, because basically we're now tied into a statewide system. Right. So when somebody passes away, that name is immediately dropped from the statewide network. Is it always dropped immediately? Yes. So but within a matter of days. A matter of days? Yes. So and is, is that an automatic thing that is failed, like absolutely failed proof? We would like to believe that it is, but then again, the system is only a stale proof, or machines only a stale proof, the person that inputs the data. And how often is the um, voting register updated? Uh, as far as the, as far as deaths and that kind of thing, yeah. it was on an ongoing basis. Right. My supervisors are in session once a week. And if that death wasn't reported, somebody could come in back and vote for them for 10 years. Except it would be such an anomaly to have that happen. Right. Uh, is it possible? Yes. Do I believe it could happen? No. It couldn't happen? I don't believe it could to the extent of 10 years. Okay. But in, in a normal situation, could somebody come in off the street, for example, and just vote and then for that person? Would that, would that happen? Could it happen? It, it could happen, but I, I would say it would be so helpful. I mean, we go to great lengths yeah. with the state system, and for instance, my supervisors, go through the newspapers right. daily I see. to look at any obituary that's published. Okay. And then they can pull them out of the way. So the check papers, the newspapers, yes. is the best means you have for establishing? Well, also vital statistics in, in Harvard. So okay. I mean, it, it's sort of a, this kind of a deal. Yeah. There isn't just a one prong, it's multiple prongs interacting. So ultimately, you're hoping that one of those prongs will work. We are. That's great. Thank you very much indeed. My pleasure. I really appreciate it. 
Reporting for the Project Veritas, James O'Keefe and Spencer Meads.